boys and girls, I'm going to read a newer story. This just came out in the last year or two, and it's called Elma and How She Got Her Name by Juana Martinez Neal. And I'm reading this with permission from Candlewick Press. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela I had a long name. Too long, if you asked her. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. These pages are sticky. It's a newer book. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. Jose. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. <clears throat> I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your waist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what is right. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? Mm, I picked the name Elma just for you. You are the first and the only Elma. You will make your own story. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. That's my name, and it fits me just right. I am Alma, and I have a story to tell. The end. Be a great idea for you to talk to your families and find out how you got your name, or maybe brothers and sisters got their names, maybe even your parents or grandparents. The way you get your name is kind of an interesting thing to talk about as a family.
So maybe learn yours. Till next time. Bye.